And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another expedition. The new week starts tomorrow here in Legends of Runeterra and the updates that we just saw, like the patch notes and everything, those, um, the updates to the cards happen tomorrow. But of course tomorrow is where, so since it resets, we, we can do three expeditions per week where we get prizes for them. And so we need to do one more before we do that because as y'all know, we're trying to get as many cards as possible. Uh, we just counted it up. I'm at, tw I have 21 of the 72 champions so far. And of course, doing a draft, we get a champion. So we're, uh, you know, slowly but surely getting that collection. Um, but yes, let's embark. Let's try to get another seven win league. It's not a league, it's an expedition, whatever. It costs 3,000 shards. We got 3,066. So perfect. So here we go, we got our two trials. We're gonna start trial number one. And Twitch chat's gonna help me pick out what we want to do. Ooh, we got some good options here. Braum, Zed, and Jinx. Um, I like, I mean, Braum's pretty sweet. This Outriders, got to you know, gotta make sure that like, the other cards you get are good too. So we can be Fluffed and Tuffed, Shadows and Dust, or Scrap Heap. Um, yeah, definitely three good buckets here. And so this is a two mana, two one, last breath draw card, four mana, three, three, overwhelm. Like these are both good cards to go along with Braum. Braum's pretty sweet. Um, Zed is like one of my favorites, as you all know. Really like Zed. Um, Dawn and Dusk, six mana slow, summon two exact copies of an ally there, ephemeral. That can be really powerful if you got like a big creature you know, you got like a 7-6 Trampler, and then you play this on it and get two more 7-6 Tramplers, you know, like that kind of thing. And Sparring Student's a good one drop. So it's a good bucket. I've never played a Jinx deck, I don't think. So it's a 4-3 quick attack. Start of the round, and then if your hand's empty, transforms into a 5-4 quick attack. Start of the round, draw one. First time you empty your hand each round, create a super mega death rocket. Two mana, deal four to the enemy nexus and one to all the enemies. It's not bad. Get excited to play this discard one, deal three to anything. I don't love this card, honestly. I don't love that card. And a chump wump, which this doesn't really go with Jinx. I kind of don't want to do the, I kind of don't like these other two cards that go along with Jinx. Oh, Ribosome says the two cards with Jinx are better. You like those cards there. Hmm? All right, let's see. Our, okay, well, let's look at the, the votes. So we got six votes, eight votes, and one. <laughs> so I think we'll do one of these first two. Um, yeah, Braum has six, Zed has eight. Um, I kind of think I'm going to do Zed. Braum's pretty sweet, though. I do like these two creatures. And Dawn of Dusk is, is like, can be very powerful, or it, it can not be. Yeah, I think this is kind of like the archetype, yeah, for the true Poro connoisseur. Overrun the enemy with swarms of ethereal units. Does this give us... Okay, and then Scrap Heap. It's saying pair that with Noxus. Okay, so let's see. What do we got? We got seven, 11, two for the votes. All right, most people are voting for Zed and I am all for playing some Zed. So let's do it. But see like then then it kind of, yes, yeah, so then like these are like the the new ones. So, you know, we get a new uh, a new thing. So we can, basically we compare Ionia with either the Shadow Isles with Elise, which that's pretty awesome. Go Elise and Zed, or we compare it with Noxus and go Darius and go Darius and Zed and that's also pretty awesome like that's very that's a lot more power like that's like you know a stompy deck or we can go you know like more of like a 
elusive tempo deck get Teemo, a mushroom cloud, a puff cap peddler, go mushroom stuff. Um, how can you vote? I think just on like the screen, like your screen should look like this, like where you can vote for, for one of them. Like when you vote there. I'm just taking a break, uh, get XII. Yeah, so not a lot of synergy here. Yeah, we had that hint for the f from the first one of like, I think it, I think it maybe said, oh yeah, it said go Shadow Isles with eph ephemeral stuff. All right, so what is this thing? So four mana, four, three, draw one for each five plus power ally you have. Hmm. Maybe we're supposed to go with the with the Elise to go with this with the uh, ephemeral. Yeah, because Shadow Isles kind of has some more synergy with just these three cards. But remember, like we're gonna be able to kind of change that around. I don't know. I don't know if the sh these Shadow Isles cards are the most powerful though. I kind of want to just go Noxious. Okay, Zed works well with Shadow Isles. Oh man, the votes are really close on this one. Seven, eight, four. Yeah, Darius is just an amazing champion. That is true. I've I've done really well with every time I've taken Darius, which has been one time. Never really see Zed with Shadow Isles in ranked. Man, this is this is tough. I think I'm gonna go with. And like the sparring student though, like can can like how this can go like real wide. You can make the sparring student bigger. All right, how does Darius work? If you have Darius in play and it's you know like a six five, and then you dawn and dusk Darius, is that can you do that since it's a champion? Like, can you have multiple of them in play, even though they're champions? You can. Hey, thanks, Nalk. All right, cool. You can Dawn and Dust champions, and they'll level up. All right, well, let's go for the let's go for the big stuff with Dawn and Dust. Let's go here. Oh man, y'all have now voted for Elise more. These votes are really close. Nine eight five. Might is very good with Zed. That is true. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna go this route. All right, shadows and dust. We got deny. Well, we already know that deny got nerfed, so deny's like broken. So we should probably take it. Shadow shift. I don't love shadow shift to be honest, but deny is good. We have decimate. I don't love. Reckless trifarian is awesome. And we have rush. Give an ally plus one plus zero and quick attack this round. That's a good card. I like that. Herald of spring. Pretty average. All right, so they all have like <laughs> my three favorite cards are probably like the deny, the trifarian, and maybe the rush. After that, it's probably not going to be the last one. It's probably going to be one. Yeah, I think we should take one of these first two. Yeah, trifarian is just pretty awesome. This is a good card. I don't really like decimate that much though, honestly. It's just you know basically lava axe for those y'all that know magic. It's just lava axe and. So I don't love that, but I'm gonna do this this one over here. I think I can we can do some tricky stuff with the shadow shift. I'm gonna take this and we get the deny. How'd they nerf it? it it's now after tomorrow it's gonna cost four mana instead of three mana. If you see my if you see what we got over here, we got three we got four three drops, a four drop, and a couple of six drops. So we definitely need, definitely need lower cost stuff. Um, seven mana, four two elusive. When I'm summoned, to give other allies plus two plus two this round. That's a good card, but I don't want another dawn and dusk, and that's also really expensive stuff. Green glade elder is good. Will of Ionia is good also. Blades Edge, and Brothers Bond. 
Hmm. We don't really have a Brothers Bond deck right now. And Blade's Edge isn't great. It's okay. Huh. I don't really love any of these. Um... Yeah, y'all are voting for the middle one. These are these are probably the like I think these two cards are better. I think I think the discipline cards here are better than the arachnophobia cards or whatever. Arach arachnophilia. Hey James, what's up? Yeah, I am taking a little break from magic. So we'll guess we'll take these cards even though it doesn't help our curve. We can we can get we can fill in our curve later. Wow, like this. Duo is awesome. Sparring student's awesome. I like that. This is a duo and a shadow shift. No, let's get the student. Crimson Awakener. When I'm summoned, deal one to all other deal one to all other allies. That's not great. And then last breath, deal two to the enemy nexus. That's fine. I think, yeah, let's go with this one here. That's just an easy take the one, the good one drop, good two drop. All right, we got another Deny and a Shadow Fiend, a one-mana 4-3 that just dies right away. Um, a Scuttle Gust, re reduce my cost for one for each ally that died this game. And a Crawling Sensation. It's not bad, but that's a different, a different uh, region. Whirling Death and Trifurium Shieldbreaker. I think we're going to go with this one here. Yeah, Whirling Death is really good. Good removal spell. Um, and then this is a, just a good 5 drop, a 6-5 Fearsome. That's just a, you know, that's just beefy stats, you know. Has keyword big. Solitary Monk is a definitely a good card. And then another Shadow Shift. I don't know if I, see, I just don't know if I want another Shadow Shift, but I love Solitary Monk. That card is awesome. All right, next we got a decent two drop, but as you can see, we need ones and twos. So, you know, it's not it's not anything special, but it's a two drop. And then a four mana, five, two, Allegiance, get plus one, plus one, and Overwhelm. Fine. Oh, good two drop and a pretty good one drop. All right, I think we're just taking this last column. Yep. Yeah, got got to take that one. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? We got a great one drop and a good bounce spell. So that's a good good column. We got another very good one drop and a really good three drop. So that's another that's a good one too. And then we have Noxious Guillotine, which isn't bad, and Savage Reckoner, which is pretty good too. These are all pretty good picks. This one has the two rares. These are commons, but... I don't think that really matters. The middle is a trap. I don't know. It's just two good, two really good stat creatures. No conspirators. It's not that good. Middle is good. Do we rare draft? <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah, prep corn. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of Re Legends of Runeterra moving forward. Yep. Um, yeah, they can't block. That's which is which is fine. You don't have enough bounce for the mentor if you if you don't have enough bounce for the mentor. I think you take the middle. Yeah, I don't have I don't have bounce. Basically, I don't really have much bounce at all right now. But obviously, we can get more. Like we can get bounce. A lot of people are going for this last column. Do the knock. Noxian Guillotine, they want the removal. And then this seven mana, seven four, it has trample or overwhelm, and it has the challenger, and challenger is pretty busted. But it is also a seven drop. Imagine this thing though, this seven drop with the dawn and dusk, and you make two more. Yeah, everybody's going for the last one because of the reckoner. Noxion's pretty bad. Okay, people don't like the removal spell. <laughs> yeah, four mana unsummon. I mean, it's it's kind of good in this game. I mean, it's just unsummon is just a strong card how this game plays. But yeah, four mana is it's overpriced. It is it's better unsummon's better in this game than it is in 
Man, the, the votes are just even across the board. I think, all right, what do we have right now? We have 10 units, six spells. I kind of want more more units. I'm gonna go with just the the over the one drop three drop power. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take those. All right, we have a good two drop and a good stat but bad ability four drop, a great two drop, and a great three drop, and a great four drop as we know because this card was also nerfed this is now going to be a 2-2 moving forward instead of a 2-3 and spirits refuge burst grants an ally barrier and life steal that's pretty good too i'm kind of a sucker for this green glade gr green glade duo though honestly middle is good card draw and right has good four cards yeah good four mana cards Kind of a sucker for this green glade duo. Shadow is too good. Oh, the shadow assassin. Yeah, everybody's voting for the middle one. All right. We got we got some votes over here, on the right. We could use a little bit more power now. Now you know now we're getting our one and two drops pretty pretty well. So now we can kind of go for some power. So like this, maybe this five six. Let's see, six mana six six start of the round, stun the weakest enemy. That card's awesome. Five mana five six fearsome. That card's also awesome. Maybe we should go with that one. Let's see what else we got. We got inspiring mentor. Ugh, that card's really good. And then to play me, recall an ally. That card's also very good. And that those two just work perfectly together. Wow, that's just a great one and one drop two drop. And then Basilis Rider, Legion rear guard. It's fine, but bleh. all right, definitely one of these two. And I kind of think maybe we just take another good one drop, two drop. These two work perfectly together. Yeah, I think we just take the one drop, two drop, honestly. Yeah, like that is true that these cards are getting nerfed tomorrow. That's a good good sign of to take those. <laughs> Get it while it's hot. Yeah, that's a great combo. All right, we're just going to take those. All right, another sparring student and a shadow assassin. A good column, but cards we already have. Elixir of Wraith and Reckless Trifarian. Wayfinder, summon Allegiance, summon two one-cost allies from our deck. Oh. And Recall. Kind of feel like that last one <laughs> yeah middle is nice too looks like the votes people are voting for either the the first or the last so like right now we have so we have 15 ionia cards so if we get this it'd be two more as far as the allegiance because the allegiance just checks the top card of your library bonus because if this is a two three that puts two of these one drops into play that's pretty awesome. Do you choose which one drops? Do you get to choose, or is it just random? Hey, what's up, Necrolepsy? Mentor doesn't trigger on summon. Ooh, only on play. It's random, okay. Well, that does, that does make that worse. The mentor doesn't trigger. Small elusive creatures plus cannot block creatures is a little awkward. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're we're just trying to. Yeah, that's true. We're not really getting in combat or like. We're not doing too good at blocking. Hmm, this is pretty close. So maybe, so maybe we don't get this then. Recall is not anything special. Maybe we go sparring student shadow assassin. The middle is just better? No, I don't really want another Reckless Trifarian. I don't know. Maybe I should. Yeah, we do. We we are just kind of being, yeah, we're, we're being very aggressive, it looks like. We actually get less cards. You, you start with like 30 cards. Usually you have 40 for a deck. You start with 30. 
and then you kind of add and change cards out throughout uh, throughout your run. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we should just go with the middle then. I mean, the middle has like the least amount of votes, but yeah, this this does put a ton of pressure on them with the three mana five four, and yeah, we we can give something plus three plus zero for one mana. Y'all want Shadow Assassin? Draw a card. Shadow Assassin is pretty busted, and we get another one drop. One one drops are always good. But then the thing that has the most is this thing over here. This one's a pump spell because it's this round. So this one's a pump spell. Some of them are like enchantments. If they don't say this round, then it just gives the the boost permanently. This one says this round. So this is like unsummon our creature in the four drop. Left, middle, right. All right, how are we doing on four drops? We don't really have four drops. I'm gonna take the left. Yeah, I'm gonna take the one drop and Shadow Assassin. All right, Usari is awesome. And Navori Highwayman is fine. But also works very well with our deck. Works great with Sparring Student. And it works good with Inspiring Mentor. And it works good with Green Glade Elder. So it works good with our deck. And Usari is just amazing. Then we have a Blade Scout, which is which is fine. And a Conspirator, which is a good card. And then we have a Guile, Stunned Enemy, and a Reckless tri Trifarian. I think I want this one. I think I want this Usari. Usari is just pretty busted. Yeah, I don't love the Highwayman either, but it could be pretty good for us. <laughs> no more one drops. Yeah, I, I just want this Usari. I'm going to take that. All right, we got a Deny and a Solitary Monk. We have a Recall and a Kinko Lifeblade. Or a Trifarian Glory Seeker and an Elixir of Wrath. Hmm. I don't really have ways to pump the life blade up, and don't you really need like ways to pump the life blade up for it to be good? Ooh, everybody's voting for this one over here, this Noxian Might. Everyone's voting for this one over here. Okay. Don't overrate Deny and Expeditions. It's worse in Expeditions. Okay. Well, we already got one Deny, so we probably don't need another. All right, everybody's voting for the right. All right, we'll take it. Ooh, we have Kato the Arm. Support, give my support ally plus three, plus zero, and overwhelm this round. That card is great. An Arena Battlecaster. Attack, give the other battling allies plus one, plus zero. That's a really good pile. That's going to be tough to beat. We got Solitary Monk. Great card, I love that one. And Shadow Fiend, eh. And we got a Green Glade Caretaker and a Key Guardian. No, I think we're taking this one over here. Yeah. Oh man, it's just it's just odd. Yeah, everybody, it's just yeah, everybody's voting for this one. Not a single person voting for the others. All right, easy pick. All right, now we got our trade pick. We can trade the Battlecaster for a Shunpo. Um, no, I don't know. I mean, Rally's cool. Battlecaster is pretty sweet, though. We can trade the Deny for a Will of Ionia. That may be a good trade, honestly. We could trade the Shadow Shift for a Legion Rearguard. Everybody wants to do the last trade. How do you get the currency for the draft? Yeah, you start your account starts with one, I think. I don't remember how we got the very first one, but you get like a like one and then after that you can you earn shards when you do stuff and you can use shards to, to draft also um it costs three thousand shards if you get seven wins you get like the three thousand and that's what 
so like the, after the first one i got like the seven wins and i got got enough shards and then for the next one i only got six wins so i only got like a thousand shards but i just had enough shards from just opening up other chests and stuff to do this other one and then yeah you also get like one token every single week to do a draft with your weekly vault rewards if you get up high enough all right everybody wants to do this last one everybody wants to trade this shadow shift for a legion warp rear guard all right we're hyper aggressive hyper aggressive here we go Okay, so let's get, let's trade the five drop out. And I think I'm gonna trade out the shadow assassin. No, maybe i just trade out one of these things. I don't know, this is a, so this is a good curve going duo into assassin. But you know, I wanna find a, a one drop, how we have millions of one drops. So I guess we trade out another one of these. I don't know, these duos are pretty awesome though. Actually, I'm gonna just drop the assassin. Dang. I was hoping for one drop and then into duo. And then the next turn we play duo and another one drop. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Let's move. Let's see. Let's move. <laughs> what is this username? Your opponent got some kind of punishment in League of Legends, by the way, hence the weird name. Huh. All right, so four two fearsome Callista. Oh yeah, you bond with something, but you, there's nothing to bond with. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Okay, so they probably had they had some name that was. Like an offensive name with like bad words and stuff. I got four mana. So I want to kill their Callista, right? They didn't even attack with their Callista? Like what's going on over here? Victory requires a sharp blade. Yeah, it's just a 4-2 fearsome. So I'll trade my 2-drop for it. Don't need to bounce these things right now. I don't think I do. When you summon an ethereal ally, grant it plus one plus one. So 
Summon three unleashed spirits. Let's not do that. <clears throat> Let's deny that from happening. So we got all this elusive in the air. Next turn. And next turn I can play like Kato and Sparring Student. And pump these things up twice. And then have Kato pump another one of these up. Uh, they didn't do that correctly, did they? They really did not. Yep. If they don't have elusive or removal, this is probably lethal. I can learn from watching you. Yeah, our opponent's probably is pretty new. I mean. It's definitely a new game, so. So with this, this support thing, you have to put the thing that you're trying to support on the right. So you have to put this thing on the left, and then the thing that you're supporting goes on the right of it. Okay, so Kato, 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 Kato doesn't have Overwhelm himself. Boom, first win. Oh yeah, let's get that XP. All right, so we get a new champion, so we can grab another Zed, grab another Darius, or grab a Yasuo. So if I stun or recall something six times, and I'm not really stunning or recalling stuff too much. I have a couple of recalls, but not that much. So I probably want Zarius or Dead, Zed. Darius or Zed. So Zed has... Oh, man, Zed has a great two-drop and a Dawn of Dusk. I don't really like that Dawn and Dusk in our deck, honestly. But I love... Zed and the Green Glade duo. Darius is, of course, awesome. And then we get um, an okay two drop and a good three drop. Definitely a good three drop and an okay two drop. I kind of think I just take like the two great cards with Zed and Green Glade duo and then just kind of have this Dawn and Dusk in here also. Yeah. All right, we're going we're gonna to take the Zed. We can figure out how to use this Dawn and Dusk. It'll, it'll do good stuff for us. All right, Bronze Chest. Okay, so we got a Stirred, we got 60 Shards, a Stirred Spirits, and an Oblivious Islander. Cool. All right, match number two. Um, let's put back the four drop and just keep both of these. Then we'll have the the mentor will make the Z bigger. So we'll just start with the mentor. And make Zed bigger, because then I want to go duo next. So I guess I won't be going with the starring, sparring sp student. Yeah, this this deck is sweet. The curve we get with this thing. You'll soon understand my method. I'm 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 attacking turn two, turn four, which is a little awkward. Not turn one, turn three. 
Turns out attacking turn one would not have been good anyway. Yeah, maybe I, I could have put the plus one, plus one on this elusive. Because if they're mono Shadow Isles, yeah, they're not going to have elusives. So maybe I should have just done that. Zed's just so awesome. What is the other thing you get? Zed's Shadow Shift? Okay, you get a Shadow Shift. Cool. So do I go Shadow Shadow Assassin this turn, since we're not attacking, and then turn four, play Student plus Zed? So they don't know about the Zed? Or do I just, maybe I just play the Zed on turn three they don't know about, and then just untap and attack immediately with it. Or like, you know, at like the end of turn three after they do stuff. We'll kind of see how this plays out. Yeah, after they spend mana, then play the Zed, end step, and then untack a tap. Kalista. Kalista's good. Um, I kind of want to kill this Kalista. I could like play this Zed. And then block Callista. Because these things don't block Callista. I guess this thing would. Alright, now yeah, we'll just we'll just go for the race. Yeah, I'm not I'm not blocking with this. Well, I mean I guess I could block this one one. Maybe I just trade these one ones. They get they are, they of course get another one one, but I need to break through these one ones to make Zed better. This is part of the Let's just block that thing. Oh, I don't know if it will lose the buffs. Oh, if I would have played this one and then the other one turns into a card, I don't know if it'll lose the buffs. I I honestly just don't know how that works. If I just attack, I'm not getting any bonus with the Green Glade duo. That's fine. I mean, I, I get that bonus, obviously, but I don't get like the two extra bonuses. I could have made it a 5 1. So, since we're doing that, I'm going to attack, or I'm going to play this Green Glade Elder and then play the Sparring Student. Let that happen. Traditions are lost if not passed on. What's today's lesson? <laughs> yeah, so if I would have bounced, I would have lost the buff, and so just don't bounce and just buff this one now.
Okay, so now this is 5-3, play, I bond with an ally, grant a plus 2, plus 0 while we're bonded, attack, revive the ally, attacking, and reforge our bond. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. This is pretty good. Oh! It's too late is it? For you. Okay. So we need to do some blocking over here. Think before you strike. Do, do, do. I'm just blocking here. I was saying I should have blocked with this thing and not the Shadow Assassin. I can learn from watching you. Thing's gonna be big. It's about to be it's about to attack as a very large creature. I am the blade in the dark. Are you supposed to be here? Return to us. For the so if I would have just dawn and dusk this thing. I don't know. I thought I thought getting like the the four three the six five. I thought you know getting these three in play would, would be better than dawn and dusk, but I guess I'm not exactly sure what would have happened if I dawn and dusk this thing. If they would have like the two of them, if they would see each other, enter. I, I don't know exactly like what would happen with the stats. Honestly, I just don't. I don't know. It was eleven damage, so what it would have been what five four and four. For those, such naivete. Come from the dark. Well, I mean, yeah, so just saying it was, see. That's the thing, like saying it's lethal, when you say something is lethal, that means that like your opponent's not going to be able to respond. If I try doing that and they have, if they have any kind of like interaction, like imagine them having like the, you know, like the something that does two damage or, you know, like just the, like the drain one, make a spider and they, they do that on the duo in response and then now my duo is dead and then this thing fizzles. It's, it's really risky. When you say stuff is lethal, that usually should mean that your opponent's tapped out or they don't have cards in hand. You know, it's so it's like potential lethal. Yeah, but it's like it's like if I do that line and they do have that, I lose because it's not like like I am like really dead if I if I would do that, and that's just a a pretty big risk. Where I'm still, like, by doing the line that I had, I'm still very far ahead now. Even if I didn't have... Yeah, you know, I didn't put lethal on the battlefield. Um... Do they have... Does Shadow Isles have instant speed removal for Darius? Okay, they surrendered. Because I know they have the instant speed removal for the 2-1. I don't know if they have instant speed removal for the Darius. Oh yeah, they, they could play just Wrath of God, that's true. They have Wrath of God. Cool. I need to play more cards that cost 6 mana. 
Oh, I was about to just play one, but my opponent conceded. No, I should have played it faster. Okay, they have Vengeance. Yeah. All right, so we can trade Arena Battlecaster for Jeweled Protector. No, Jeweled Protector's not even that good. It's getting better. That's not a good trade. We can trade this Highwayman for the Keeper of Masks. That could be a good trade. That could be a good trade. Give our other elusive stuff plus one plus zero that round. That could be good. Or we could trade the deny for a sown seeds. Grant allies in hand plus one plus zero. And I don't love that. I don't want I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do the first or the third. So it's either the second or none. Yeah, it's either middle or skip. Um the highwayman really is only better if we play it's really only good if we play mentor or i mean it does make sparring student better like that curve sparring student into highwayman is pretty good i think i think i'm gonna keep i'm gonna think i'm gonna take the keeper of mists we have four of these green glade duos giving the, these things plus one plus zero seems pretty sweet okay High tech says skip the trade though. Let's see. Let's see what the votes are. Are the votes skip or do the middle one? Wow, <laughs> even. Uh, well, it's five to four, I guess. Five to four. So I'm going to I'm going to take the keeper of masks. Well, the thing is, is Highwayman can play some good defense. Actually, I'm going to skip the trade. Because Highwayman can just play some good defense for us, while our because it gets the two bodies to play defense while our while our flyers win the game. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep that. I think we kind of need like some some things to battle on the ground a little bit. So I'm gonna keep it. I don't like the sand at all. Is this even our deck? Yeah, I guess these cards are in our deck. What is what is this? Where's all of our like ones and twos? We're attacking first. We don't get to do anything. Ah, uh, the opponent has a barrier deck. Which makes Zed worse. Do I want to trade my Green Glade Duo, which is awesome, for just their 2-1 Challenger? I mean, it's going to just trade the next turn anyway. Like, their Challenger is just going to kill it. Catch me if you can. <laughs> yeah, Clue King and G. Yeah, just trying a new game. A game that's really awesome. Uh, yeah, Challenger mechanic does make things. It's very, it's a very powerful mechanic, but it's again, it makes you know gives you more decisions. Um, I'll play this. It'd be kind of nice to play this Green Glade Elder first, which maybe I should do. But I just want to bash in for five right now. Yeah, it's it's another you know skill testing aspect. It's not just I attack you block everything like that. It it does make I think it's a it's a another um, it's I think it is a keyword that does help like the the better player because it is it is a ch challenging keyword honestly. No greater gift. In. All right, pass.
So I'm going to play this Usari. Hmm. Yeah, it's still just Usari. It, like, I could go duo plus dark, you know, sparring student duo. Yeah, challenger is the thing that forces blocks. Like, you, you choose who, it blo who blocks it. Hey, what's up, Zedalom? I don't know. I don't really have like a timetable. I want to give this game like a, a real shot, you know, not not just like a try for like two days. I want to give it like a real shot. Oh no, Will of Ionia. Four mana unsummon. And now it loses the buff. That's pretty bad for us, yeah. I was going to eat their challenger. That's what I was going to do. I was going to have Usari kill their challenger. Alright, they're just making some blocks to stay alive, it looks like. They may have another trick. This thing doesn't give Overwhelm. It just gives plus three, plus zero. So if they don't do challenge, you know, they may challenger my 1-1. One, one. If they don't do that, oh no, I can't even block Senna and give plus three, plus zero, because the quick attack. Ugh, this hand's just ugly. All these five and six drops. to win the war soldier stand to he could pump senna for darius yeah by my force hand. that block makes sense So seven mana, three, four, five, six. Hmm. No, I haven't, Hogs in. Trying a new game. Hmm. All right, let's play the elusive. I'm going to play that and the Kato, and I'm going to have the Kato give this 4-1, plus 3, plus 0, and Overwhelm. And I'm going to attack him where I'm going to have the Darius on the right, so that if we can get the other stuff to do enough damage, do 5 damage, shall prevail. then Darius will flip. Yeah, that's, that's the goal, is to try to flip Darius. And then, of course, I have this plus three, plus zero also. So I feel really good about this attack right now. They're going to have to have something pretty sweet to stop me. So yeah, hopefully lethal. They only got the three cards. I'm feeling pretty good about this game, though. Alright, so we need to put this on the left. Then we need to put this to the right of it. To support it. And then we'll get this thing out there, too. And... We'll just throw this 1-1 out there. I don't know if that's good to throw the 1-1 out there. It kind of just gets in their way.
<laughs> Elder is going to be MVP. I mean, the Elder was pretty sweet. You know, did give a lot of these creatures plus one, plus one, like this thing, and this thing, and this thing. So fast. You got to block that 5-3 with that. 4-2. Blocking it with the 2-2? Two -two? That's not a good block. Just switch that 2-2 two -two and 4-2. Oh, because oh, support, right? Give that thing life. Steal. Boom! Okay. All right, three now. We got to get that seven win. Let's get there. Oh, we get another champion. All right, so we can get another Zed or a Darius or a Katarina. I've never played Katarina before. 3-2 whenever I've struck, recall. Whenever I've played against Katarina, Katarina seems amazing. Oh, yeah, because then... Because Katarina just strikes once and then levels up and then play Rally. Katarina's just busted, right? Hey, Azrael, what's up? Oh, you were really sick that last week? Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. But yeah, welcome back. Oh, she's slow tempo, though. Doesn't see that much play at all. Better in draft, but is generally a good card. But not generally a good card. Huh. Kind of anti-tempo, unless you get late game. Okay, yeah, that's. I guess that's where I've seen my opponents play it, is like late game, play Katarina, and I'm like super dead because of it. And then, let's see, five mana, de decisive maneuver, stun an enemy, give all allies plus two, plus zero. Eh. And Savage Reckoner. It's expensive. So Zed gives me another Usari, which is awesome. But then a third Dawn and Dusk. I don't know if I want a third Dawn and Dusk. So we get a second Darius, get a Captain Farron, and a Trifarian Glory Seeker. I think I like this one here. Get a second Darius and get this Captain Farron. All right, yeah, I think, I guess, because I don't really like these other two cards that much. I mean, the Savage Reckoner is okay, but Captain Farron's probably better. I think he'll maybe talk me into the second one. Yeah, because Captain Farron's pretty great, too. Oh, actually, y'all were voting more for the Zed. I just don't want this third Dawn and Dusk. Zed's pretty sweet, though. Yeah, this game is great, Azrael. I voted Zed and I would change my vote. Okay. Because, yeah, it's tied right now, so if you had changed it, go to, to seven. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Darius, Captain Farron. Let's get these big overwhelmers. Let's do it. Whoa, we got a sub. Ian Ray, finally able to catch a stream to renew my sub. Thanks, Ian Ray. First of the day. Thank you so much. Because we already have like the great early game with our deck. So I like getting some super powerful heavy hitters at the top end. Okay, people think Katarina is more of like a win more card. I can see that. Um, I'm going to put away one of these. Do I want to put away Will of Ionia? Yeah, we'll put away four mana on summon. Oh man, we get to attack first also? Yeah. Lonely Poro. Well, no blocks. Or no attacks, I mean. When I'm summoned, create a random one cost Poro from any region. Don't get in my Lucian? Dude, Lucian is busted. Time for a leap of faith. Dude, Lucian is seriously busted. This is it's really not that different from Marina, honestly. It's a lot of it pick up pretty quickly if you're used to playing Magic. We do have Zed. Is Zed more busted than Lucian? Without a sound. Lucian is far worse than Zed? Really? Lucian's just a two drop though. And those guns? Do, do, 
do do do. All right, so it's just it's all about three twos. They got their three two. I got my three twos. <laughs> Jubilant Poro. Happy. Yeah, I think is there is there an overlay up right now that y'all can that y'all can hover over the cards? I mean, I I have some kind of overlay up, but I don't know what it does. What is ours. If y'all if anybody knows about like the overlay thing, it's not doing anything for you. Maybe there's some step that I need to do to enable the overlay that I haven't. The overlay works in draft menu but not in game. Is there does anybody has anybody like you know watched other Legends of Terra streamers have seen the overlay work somewhere else? What is this? Alright, so they're gonna kill my Zed and turn that thing into a 6-5. Alright, well, I guess that happens. Okay, is there is there a different overlay that anybody knows about that shows the cards in game? Let's give this Shadow Assassin plus one plus one. Cause we're gonna need a race. So if they don't have an elusive creature or a removal, I'm going to have 12 attack in the air. That's a good sign for me. Because this will give my other battling allies plus one, plus zero. Oh, that thing's only a 2-2. Two -two. So I'll have 4, 8, 11. I'll have 11. Whew, perfect. They're at 11. They surrendered. Even with that Lucian. Lucian's just a sweet name, too. Lucian? That's a cool name. Wasn't that like one of the vampires in like the Underworld movie? Wasn't one of them named Lucian? Alright, so we can trade that Battlecaster for a Whirling Death. Battlecaster is sweet. Whirling Death's pretty good, too, though. I can trade a Dawn and Dusk for a Green Glade Elder. I kind of want to do that. Or we can trade this Navori Conspirator for a Green Glade Duo. Mm, they're they're pretty similar on power level. We already have four duos. I think I kind of want to do this one. I, I'm actually pretty impressed with this Green Glade Elder giving all of my allies plus one plus one. My BTS that I just skip here because I, I have two of these dawn and dusks and i i like one but i don't want to have like a hand of two of them like one is fine but i don't really want a second i don't know the elder the elder's been very good all right basically everybody's voting for the middle trade i'm gonna do it i just don't want a second dawn and dusk but the elder has been good for me so but yeah, it gives all the all your creatures in hand plus one plus one for like the rest of the game, you know, like so they all have a buff, you know, so it's like an anthem for all for whatever you have in hand. And you get the one one body that can just do like a chump block to help you win. Alright, we're getting rid of the eight drop and five drop. We'll keep the one drop in Zed. I have not liked this Elixir of Wrath. I've not like wanted to play it ever. Yeah, good cards. You want like 4x. Yep, yep. You can only play 3 in this game though because you're just playing 40 card decks. So you can only play 3. 
of a card. But of course, this is a draft format. So like we're drafting, so you can you can play as many as you get in the draft format. Oh, uh, well now I wish I would have played the 3-2 now that I drew this thing. Because of course my plan, I played this because then I was going to just play this thing and then attack with the... Which I guess, wait, I shouldn't even have attacked anyway. I should have just played this and then attacked for three in the air. Right, because everything has haste in this game. Yeah, I should have just played three. Attack for, with that 3-2. Well. All right, missed out on two points of damage. <laughs> yeah, I figured it out afterwards, <laughs> unfortunately. Did it move? <laughs> uh, let's see. I am they have a lot of spell man over here. I don't know, I could... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You have to get me out of here! Yeah, I'm gonna play the Elder. I still only have three creatures in hand. But still, I'm going to play the Elder, pump those up. Yeah, I could have Yeah, I could have overwhelmed and have the damage go through, but it uh, basically turned this into a 3 mana deal 6. Well, if they try to stun to kill Zed, I can burst Zed, right? I can do this, and then it won't kill Zed. Oh, no, 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 that's not a barrier. It doesn't give a barrier, it gives out overwhelm. Wait, no, bring this back. Where's my axe? So much power crippled by restraint. Power is nothing without purpose. Fortunately, you can only have six creatures, so I'm actually filled up on creatures right now. I wish I could put this 1-1 one, one back in my hand and be able to get the other Zed token. No, I'm definitely attacking with the 1-1. One, one. Why are you saying why why are y'all saying don't attack with the 1-1? One, one? Leave it behind. I wanted I need more I need more space for more creatures. I want it to die. And if it dies, that means more damage is coming through. Look at that. They blocked this instead of block, blocking something else. Wait, so you're saying you're saying if this wasn't attacking, I would get the Z token? I just thought like if you had six creatures, you don't get another one. Act with conviction. Z token can spawn if you have stuff on the bench. Oh, see, I didn't I didn't know that that was a thing. I did not know that was a thing. Um, so how much damage is coming through here? So three, four, five, so three, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine's coming through. So we're going to overwhelm, nine's coming through, overwhelm this thing. Okay, so yeah, I mean, that was definitely a, I should not have 
attacked there with with the one one because I didn't know that that's how that worked, but now we do. Now we do. Yeah, to attack all like that, you just you just drag. You pick up everything you want to attack. Like you pick up something, and you just drag across, and you pick up all the things you want to attack with. Wait, I didn't do lethal. I thought I was doing lethal. What? Oh, did they have life steal or something? Life steal this round. Oh well. Did not know that. All right, well, learned a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could, yeah. I never use this Oracle's Eye thing to show me what's gonna happen. I guess I'm not used to doing that. I know that that's there. And like, basically what this does, if you mouse over this, it'll tell you like what their life total is gonna be at after combat and everything. I didn't realize the life steal thing. Well, would that have been lethal if I would have? Let's see. What did I, I had like a four three over here that was being blocked by a three two, so that would have been two extra damage plus trample. If I would have overwhelmed that three two, the, the four three, that would have been two extra damage. Darn. So I could have still had lethal if I would have just overwhelmed the four three. But I just thought it was lethal. I didn't realize about the life steal, so I didn't, didn't think that mattered. But I could have dealt an extra two damage if I would have done that. So I guess I should have. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. We're not playing around no wrath. I could have Wrath of God. One life in exchange for another. Yeah, no, I, I could have gotten two extra damage than what I did. I face my fate. It's not even worth it to attack with those things. I mean, I, I can attack with this thing. Okay, ready. Yeah, that's true. They could have a life steal barrier again. They did not. All right. All right. Got to pay attention to life steal barriers. That's the, that's the other thing about you know streaming while you're while you're playing you know I'm reading chat talking and everything and you know their creature I knew their creature got like a barrier but it also got life steal and I just missed that 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 happened. All right, so now I can trade my last dawn for dusk for this wayfinder. I can trade the battlecaster for the reckoner, or I can trade the shield breaker for the gl green glade duo. Hmm. I don't like the middle trade. It's either first, third, or last. Green Glade Duo is pretty sweet. As you can tell, we already got four of them, though. So do I want to get rid of the big five drop? And get another one, get a fifth one? Like, is there diminishing returns? happening i think i want to keep the dawn and dusk it's a powerful card for sure i think i want to keep that so i don't want to do the first one so i think it's either the third or, the, or skip this thing just has fearsome not overwhelm so yeah no way you do the first last or skip yeah like we're trying to play aggro so so we should probably just get the other another great elusive two drop Probably can't really have too many of those. Dude, our deck has just like all one twos and threes, basically. I 
<laughs> yeah, up and out. Yeah, you can watch me play through the tutorials and, and talk about it and everything. This game's sweet. And everything that I've played on here has been without spending money. I did just recently, let's see, I did this morning spend money on the game, but I haven't actually bought anything with that. Um, I got, I just got some wild cards, but I haven't used the wild cards because you, there's a, there's a cap on how many wild cards you can purchase each week. And so I wanted to just get, won't get past me. uh, the wild cards before next week. Cause that, that starts tomorrow. Yeah, we traded just, we, we got another one of these green glade duos that we have a million of. So now we have five of them. We got another one of those. Um, and we, we traded away a five mana six five for that. Okay, ready. So I do, so I lost out on one point of damage here by attacking first, but also I, I had the potential of getting the five damage in if they didn't have the two drop. You won't suffer long. It's too late for you. Black. Bleh. Well, I could do two damage to that anyway, but I'm glad they dealt two damage to that and not two damage to my. My three one's gonna grow. Hmm. So it's either play the one drop and Zed, or play two more duos. If I play two more duos, then the next turn I could do like one drop, one drop, Zed. Two more duos is four, three. So it's nine damage in the air. I can learn from watching you. Yeah, I don't, Zed's just real strong. Let's get Zed in play. Let's get Zed in play. Yeah, Zed's pretty bonkers. Play plays around static shock. What's Static Shock? Is that the, this Mystic Shot? I know that card. Mystic Shot. I am the blade in the darkness. Are you supposed to be here? Well, now I can't attack with that thing anymore. We can still attack with these two. But now this would have been a 3-3 that we would have been able to attack with. So we dealt seven damage. Have Zed in play. So now my plan is kind of wait till the end of their turn after they attack and hopefully after they play stuff and then drop two more of these green glade duos that they won't know about and just kill them with in the air. You know, we can we can pretty easily do 11 damage next turn. I mean, I guess. Yeah, because then two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, we can have like 15 in the air next turn. Um, I assume they're going to attack. But the problem is if I hit pass and they just don't attack and they just pass back, I just waste my mana. I guess I need to play this. Everything's better with just in case. Get around. 
Yeah, that, that's my that's my plan is to try to have lethal next turn. They don't have it elusives or removal. Will this will the starring spoot will this thing die if I block here and then the next turn it turns into a one one? Does it die? Focus, focus. Don't block, don't block. People, everybody's saying don't block, don't enable spear. I know that costs one less mana than the three drop, but I want to. I want those in play first before the three drop. Ugh, file feast. All right, so they're up to twelve. My true beauty is the nature skin. Pump it up. Uh, you get the minus one, minus one. Pump it up. My life for the order. All right, so we're gonna attack with this, that, that, and that. And now we can get the other Overwhelm Zed. Does this thing not have Overwhelm also? I thought they would, uh, it doesn't have Overwhelm also? Uh, well, that was kind of a waste. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Oh, I should attack with this this one too. I don't know why I thought they were both two threes. Yeah, I should attack with this three four also. Why did I think they were both two threes? Yeah, I should attack with the three four. But anyway, yeah, this is ten damage here in the air, which would put them down to two. We have two trample coming in through here. Five minus three. <clears throat> They gave me some puff caps. My skill is Perfect. Exact scenes. Yeah, the spider gave a minus one, minus zero. Yep. Even with them using that removal spell and having the spider still had enough damage to get through there. All right, GG's. All right, so we have one shot. This is the final boss. We're at six wins. So we're at the final boss to get that seven win. We only have one shot. We got to get something good. All right, so we can trade the Highwayman for a Glory Seeker. That seems like a pretty good trade. I want to keep Mentor. I'm not doing this last one. Deny for crowd favorite. That's not a bad trade either, but I kind of want to just keep Deny. I think I want to just keep the one Deny. It's really, do we want to do this first one? Do we want to trade the Highwayman for a Glory Seeker? I think so. Yeah, I want to keep the one Deny though. Yeah, to, just to protect stuff. I think so, because I think because Glory Seeker is basically removal for champions and stuff. You know, being a five power thing that they, that we make them block. So we can trade the one Dawn and Dusk for a Twin Disciples. Probably not. Trade this Conspirator for a Hopeful. Probably not. 
trade the Battlecaster for an Imperion. Probably not either. I, I'm just going to skip this trade. I don't like any of those. Check the votes. Yeah, the, the duo is good. Um, yeah, looks like you know people like skipping the trade. Some people like doing this last one, but I don't want the seven drop. We're too aggressive. Look at our curve. Yeah, I don't want the seven drop. All right, so skipping that one. All right, so we can trade our four mana unsummon for a pretty sweet seven drop, but it is a seven drop. We can trade the Elixir of Wrath for another Glory Seeker. I may want to do that. I've not been very pleased with this Elixir of Wrath. We could trade the Whirling Death for this seven drop. I don't want to do that. I don't know. It does pump up all of our other allies plus two, plus two. That is pretty sweet. But no, Whirling Death is good. Y'all are basically voting either the last one or skip. <laughs> yeah, I refuse to play it because it's just it's just it's just a card that does three damage and that's it. Like that that's it. It just does three damage. There, that's not that's not a good. If you had every single card just say one mana deal three damage, you're probably not winning. Yeah, we don't really have trample stuff. Like, it's just, we just put it on a flyer. I think we're just going to, I don't know, Glory Seeker is just removal. Removal seems better than one mana three damage. So it's, yeah, it's relatively safe. A lot of y'all are just voting skip the trade. Nobody else is in for this middle trade, the one that I kind of want to do. I only do have six spells total. But this Glory Seeker basically acts as a spell. I'm taking the Glory Seeker. All right, so we can trade Captain Farron for a Shadow Fiend. That's a terrible trade. We can trade Usari for a Shield Breaker. No, thank you. We can trade Shadow Assassin for Yone. That one I could be talked into. We have two Shadow Assassins. The Assassins are good, and they have been good, but Yone's also really good. It's just a generic 6-6. Six -six. No, I'm going to just skip. I'm just going to skip. Y'all want me to do the first one? Just take the one mana 4-3? So just basically one man deal four instead of Captain Farron. Nah, I'll keep the captain. Yeah. All right, a deny or a glory seeker? No, we're keeping the deny. Trade rear guard for student? No, I think I'll just keep the rear guard. We got two rear guards for students, so no, we don't want to trade that. Or trade the mentor for a kato? Kato? No, I want to keep the mentor. All right, skipping that. All right, trade the Dusk for a Shadow Fiend. No, why don't they give us any good trades? Oh, okay, maybe this last one. What's this one? No, that one's not good. Maybe the middle one. All right, so we can trade this Trifarian Assessor, which is not a good card, which is just, I mean, it's it's four mana, four, three. Like that play just basically would never do that. So it's like a four mana, four, three, or we can get a five mana, three, three that grants an ally in hand plus three, plus three. That grants an ally in hand plus three, plus three seems pretty sweet. We can put that on an elusive thing. I think I want the Jewel Protector. Yeah, Protector is very slow, but I mean, what is this Assessor doing? This this card just doesn't do anything. Like, this card's not good. Yeah, in, in my current deck. That's what I'm talking about. In my current deck. That's true, we do have a bunch of Glory Seekers now. Well, now I can trade this Jeweled Protector for a Dawn and Dusk. <laughs> go, you know, go back to where we were, get a second Dawn and Dusk. Um, trade a Trifarian for a Life Blade? No. Trade Captain Farron for Savage Reckoner? I could maybe see doing that last one. Captain Farron's pretty sweet, though. I think, no, I don't think I'd do that either.
Um, so would I rather have Dawn and Dusk than Jewel Protector? I could definitely see rather having Dawn and Dusk, honestly. Because we've seen... So how much damage is a Green Glade duo? Hey, what's up, Rochian? Makes you really happy. Awesome. Yeah, dude, this game is awesome. So, uh, so question. Let's say I have a 2-1 Green Glade duo and I Dawn of Dusk it. Would it be one enters and then you have a 3-1 and a 2-1 and then the other one enters and you have 4-1, four, 3-1, four, one, one, one? So it attacks, so it's nine damage in the air? Is that how that works? Okay, that's, yes, everybody's saying yes, that's how it works. Okay. So that's pretty strong. And then if, if the green glade duo was let's say let's say we already played another creature we played like another one drop and so now it's a three one and then we play the dawn and dusk is it like three one and then it puts a three one into play and a, you know and then bumps it up to four and three and then like does it put other three ones into play or does it put two ones into play so yeah it would, it would be five four three okay so yeah let's take let's take this other dawn and dusk okay let's do that then Sweet. All right, final battle. Let's go. Let's get these final boss emotes in the chat. This is this is a big time. Uh, let's see, because if we lose, we get a thousand shards. If we win, we get three thousand five hundred shards. <laughs> That's a huge difference. Uh, it's basically like two dollars and fifty cents difference, I guess, with real money. But still, it's a big difference. It sounds more when you say it in charts. Okay. All right, so what are we doing? All right, so replace, replace, replace. I'll keep Shadow Assassin. We could do worse. Love it. New recruit reporting in. You won't get past me. A real battle. Yeah, tomorrow it's changed to three thousand for first, fifteen hundred for second, but for today it's thirty-five and one thousand. It's better to save this to be like a removal spell. They play some awesome creature that we want to kill, you know, like a 4 4 or 5 5, anything like that. Alright, so they give that thing barrier so I don't get to attack with my 3 2. They're in a pretty good spot right now. I'm considering having this 2-1 block this 3-2. Why can't I trade? Can't this thing just block? This can't this can't block. Why though? I don't know, because they're doing a lot of damage. Alright, we won't. Uh, I don't know, Ian. Actually, I don't know. I don't know what like the different ranks get us or anything. I don't know if like the ranks reset at all. I'm not sure yet. For the hand. So they're keeping the three spell mana. I'll do better this time. I won't back down. the world on one
one arrow. Hmm. So I have four right now. Next turn I'm going to have five, so that's nine total. This is seven. I can play that thing also. Traditions are lost if not passed on. I may want to bounce this ash. Protect and strike. I guess I don't get to bounce until it's too late. Think before you strike. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump it. A final lesson. <clears throat> Who gets tossed? Start of the round, frostbite the strongest enemy. Ugh. The card's good. That card's good. Hmm. So this is just my my thing strikes their thing, right? Like they it's not they don't fight. Right? Victory requires a sharp blade. I guess, oh, I should have played this sparring student first. Correct? Yeah. I should have played the sparring, sparring student first. Deal four damage to that thing. This could be rough. The time is right. Strike Wait, now. I don't get to respond to that? I think has I'll burst. This game's gonna be really close. Should have played this first. I could have attacked with that extra 2 2. Would have a little bit ago. Soldiers to me! All right, bounce that. Get that out of here. Silent as death. So of course I could have played the Elder first that would have pumped that, but I wanted to be able to go straight into combat. Oh, but now I could play like the two drop and Zed, but I only have room for one creature. Alright, so I pull this here. They have to block my 5 1. Hmm. 
Smith, not a soldier. The Darn it, stop right. with these. These freezes. Yeah, I only had like room to play one more creature. To the field. What would you wish to learn? Which is why I couldn't really like I could have played, I guess I guess could have just played Zed. They're at two. I got a bunch of flyers. I got a Darius now also. Avarosa, guide me. That's some sweet that's a sweet animation right there. So enemies with power zero cannot block. Here, you can chump this thing. You can these are both fearsome. I just want to block this. And take seven. I don't think they'll have a plus three. I mean, I guess they could have a plus three thing. Oh, right. This thing's tough, so it's going to stay alive anyway. So, yeah, we'll block. I'm going to block Ash instead. Yeah, I'm going to block Ash. Because that thing's tough anyway, so it'll stay alive. I'll figure that out. I can't chump. Yeah, these are fearsome. They can only be blocked with creatures power three or greater. I have my orders. I stand for king and country. You're shorter than I thought. Oh man. This doesn't even work, does it? Because I don't have room for her. I'd only have room for one copy. So it doesn't really even work. All right, let's try to attack. Try to attack. Do we got this? We got it. Seven zero. -oh. Perfect run. Perfect run. Seven zero. -oh. Here we go. Ugh, don't quite get that XP there, but we got 20, 2,100 experience. We got 2,000 experience for that trial, for that draft. Plenty of experience. All right, we are leveled up. We are at the thir level 13 vault, as high as we can go. We're now at level five for the Shadow Isles. Trial complete, seven win. All right, let's check these rewards. We got a wild capsule. Thanks, BTS. Yeah, GG's, everybody. All right, so we got, ooh, this was upgraded to a rare wild card. It's supposed to be four commons and a rare, but this one, so we got lucky, we got, up, we got one upgraded. So we got some wild cards. We got an epic. We got Rasa, which would be an amazing epic because Rasa is like one of the best cards, one of the best epics. But Rasa is getting nerfed tomorrow. It's now just going to cost eight mana instead of seven because it's way too good at seven. You play it, you kill their two weakest enemies. <laughs> if you had an ally die, that's still a good epic. Yeah, still good at eight mana. And I had I had zero Rasas, so that was that's a perfect that was perfect epic card right there. I had zero of those. That's probably the best possible. Okay, that's awesome.
So there we go. So there's our first expedition, seven wins. We're still gonna do the second one because these are a lot of fun and we can still, if we get seven wins, we still get 2000 more experience, which of course that experience is really important for getting more rewards. Um, so yeah, so we can, we're still gonna do the second trial and then we're gonna be playing some ranked with quick aggro. Awesome. <clears throat> All right, so uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed this awesome, perfect seven uh, win run. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.